Hi, I'm Clyde with Basic Works, and this is the Craftsman CM CS 500 circular saw. I'm going to make a short video here about how I managed to get the saw blade in. It's not quite as easy as you think. Okay, so on this Craftsman circular saw, we're going to install this saw blade. Always removing the battery pack first so we don't have any incidents going on with power. So on top of the saw, you're going to see this spindle lock push button. Whenever you're tightening or loosening this bolt, you need to hold that spindle lock down in position. So we're going to take the Allen wrench that they provide. It's up underneath the handle here. And we're, this is a reverse thread, so we're going to go the opposite way to get this thing loose and tight. So to loosen it, we're going to go clockwise because it's a reverse thread. Now we're turning this bolt clockwise, unscrewing it to get the bolt out. We're going to remove this washer, which has the elongated center. And then we're going to take the blade guard, get it out of the way, take our saw blade, and we're going to start the saw blade under this side of the guard. But you see, it's going to hit this, this piece of the guard. You, the guard's flexible. You need to flex it out of the way enough to get the saw blade up underneath the guard. So working the blade in underneath this plastic guard, piece by piece, until you get the center hole of the saw lined up with the spindle, you'll hear it pop into place. Now we have the blade on, we're going to put the retaining washer back on, and we're going to put the bolt back in, and remembering it's a reverse thread, so we're going counterclockwise to screw it into position. Once again, the spindle lock has to be held down while we tighten this, tightening it, going counterclockwise, like that. Then we have the blade installed. The guard is free to move. If this video helped you out, hit the like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.